All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Here we are in some pristine country. We've just dropped Alex's ute off about 40 kilometers in a straight line from here. It took us about an hour and a half to drive right around. We've left my truck at this location. Now we're punching in. We've got about 12 k's in front of us to get to our campsite tonight. We've actually come a little way now. We've sort of just started our ascent. It's the raw, so hopefully the stags will still be roaring. It's definitely getting pretty late. We're about 15, 20 days into the raw. So we're just heading into our location. We were going to plan to camp for the first night, but <coughs> we stopped and had a bit of a listen and there's a stag going up this gut over here. We can't see him just yet, but we've got ourselves in a pretty good position. And we're going to let out a few rules, see what he does, see if we can get him a bit angry and show himself and come down here. But it's a pretty, pretty good sign so far. We spooked two hinds on the way in as well, which is a bit unlucky, but that's the way it goes when you're trying to get from A to B. Um, so hopefully we can work out where this fella is and hopefully he's a decent fella. His walls sounded pretty young, but we'll have a good look around and see if we can find him. Just a young eight pointer with and a yearling so they're pretty safe from us today so we'll probably get our camp set up get pretty warm and then have a bit more of a look around see what else is around it's pretty cool that they're still roaring we're gonna get a bit more raw action in on this trip right so we've just spotted there one younger stag so far we haven't made it very far from camp as you can see <laughs> but um it's getting pretty chilly now so tomorrow morning it's meant to be a frost and it's going to be cold so hopefully we pop up around the next corner and there's a few stags going crazy. We've heard two roaring so far, so this one's just a young one, but he's coming in at us um, and roaring pretty hard. So hopefully that one that we did hear up there earlier is a decent stag as well. Oh well, day done and dusted. Time to get in the scratcher. Very dewy out here today. Stags. <laughs> is that a stag roar? <laughs> Alex has got his red light going because apparently the deer aren't scared of it. So it's a good way to get around. Apparently, anyway, I haven't actually asked the deer. How was your sleep? Yeah, that's alright. Mine was shit. My sleeping mat kept going down so I had to wake up every hour and blow it up. Oh, there were some stags roaring last night, eh? Yeah. Heard the last one at 3.30 and it was close. Like, I reckon they might have come right in and centred us, eh? Oh, well, I guess we'll cook up some brekkie and then go for a stroll and hopefully we can find find the old boy. All right, let's do it, bro. Right, <laughs> right, so our campsite's all tidied up now. We're going to head straight up and find out who was keeping us up all night last night with their roaring so we're going to head straight up up here along this ridge around down and up this gut here hopefully we can get onto something decent up there and if not we're going to carry on all the way through to alex's truck about 25 more kilometers away so we've got a big road in front of us and plenty of hunting plenty of country to see some animals Let's go! Right, we just wandered from camp about 15 minutes up to our first viewpoint. We're looking down over all of this beautiful country, it's prime time. The game trails down here are just unreal. We haven't seen anything. We're going to keep glassing, then we're going to head up this ridge here, up along to the top of there. Look over all of that. If there's no luck, we're heading straight over into the whole next mountain valley. Right, so we've just got up to this next ridge now, pulled the spotting scope out and sure enough spotted a, another stag and a couple of hinds about two kilometers away. Um, looks like a pretty young eight again, but a little bit solider, a little bit thicker timber than that last one, but I don't know, there is a chance it could be the same one. He's a very long way away. Um, that sunstroke's coming in a little bit now too, but 
we'll keep on having a look around and I'm sure more will pop up so we've just assist this stag up high um, and he's a young eight and a spiker and two or three hinds as well but we've got another stag roaring straight up over here so same again we're going to get up and go over to this next ridge just here sit up there and view down hopefully he's still roaring we might even be able to roar him in a bit but we'll play it by if he's a real donkey i think we won't try and roar him we'll probably just try and sneak in on him right so we've just come up over this ridge and we've spotted a stag and he's got I can see five already, we need a good look. He's got a heap of hinds with him. They're just heading straight up the top of the mountain. Hopefully, they'll be down somewhere and we can find ourselves in a position to sneak over and sneak up on them. So we've spotted two stags, both roaring. Got them both angry as well. Um, but they're not coming towards us, unfortunately. But we've got the one up over there. It's <coughs> Quite a cool stag, doesn't have real thick timber. <coughs> Probably the youngest stag as well. This one over here is a little bit older. Definitely um, a good first stag for Alex. <laughs> Might take a little bit of beating, but it's not the massive old mountain relic we're sort of looking for. But So we've got to decide whether we leave these two, carry on our journey, or push after this one try and get him, secure him, and then head back out the way that we came in. Alright, so we've just been looking at those stags for a wee while now, we've made a decision that we're going to leave them both. They're both really good young stags, well, relatively young stags. Next year or the year after, they'll be even better again. So we're just going to send the drone up and around and get some footage of them. Alright, so we've just finished up here. Two really awesome stags. Um, had the decision to go after them or carry on our mission. Obviously if we went after them and shot them, one of them, then we'd have to walk back where we came from. But we're pretty keen to explore all this new country as well. So we sent the drone up around, had a good look at them. That was pretty cool. But now we're just heading up over the saddle and she's pretty much downhill for a fair wee way. Um, we're probably gonna try and camp in an area similar to this with lots of deer sign, but we'll head a few k's away anyway, find some new fresh ground and some new faces. Alright, so we've come up to this top saddle now. Been glassing for probably two minutes. Spotted another five horns and another stag. Still not quite the stag we're after. I'll chuck the big camera on him anyway and you guys can have a look at him and see what you reckon. Alright, so we've just done a bit of glassing over the saddle that we've just got to now. And man, the country up here is unbelievable. Spotted quite a few deer. There's a stag up there with six hinds, six females and yearlings. Um, we're going to camp just here somewhere. If we can find a flat enough spot, we've got water just here. Cell phone reception there. Not that we really need that, but then we've got this valley to glass. We've got the next valley behind there, all to glass. And then we can walk out to this little point here and view all right around behind the back of this hill and the river flats. So it's a pretty prime spot um, and we should have a good chance of spotting quite a few more animals too so let's just go get set up and dry everything. Alright time for some lunch now. I'm just going to have some bulta salami wraps for lunch. I just made from the local butcher. One of my good mates Sean he made some of his own and it was bloody good too, he sent me down a roll, top man. Um, so we're just glassing all this country and it's just amazing in here. Just to think that all of this would have all just been merino weathers back in the day. People coming in here on horseback, mustering them all out of here. Pretty, pretty unreal sort of a spot up here to be honest. Wicked country, can't beat it. Hey Alex, before you give me these wraps, you gotta bust the rap about this hunting trip. <laughs> Coming along nicely. What do you reckon? You'll be wrapped, you don't have to carry the extra rope weight around now. Yeah, I'm wrapped. <laughs> Alright, guys, just having our lunch and looking down at where we're planning on heading, sort of thinking, oh, is there gonna be deer down there? Is there not? There's a lot of bush down there, and we've just spotted 
more behind and a stag they're quite far away still I've put the camera on them but the heat waves are just killing us but have a look anyway Check out these rocks here it's like concrete just about looks like something you'd see in a modern art museum pretty cool all right not much in the way of water up here so we're gonna we're actually out of water we're heading down here going across here to that ridge over there glass the next valley over and then we're gonna head down the bottom down here set up camp here we know that there's a stag and a group of vines just here Hopefully we can find some water in here somewhere. The ball print here. Pretty good pig I'd say. Got a beautiful water here mate. Right, so we're just below where that stag and hymens were now. Alex is just down over there, cooking up. A hot brew for us. I've just come to sort of scope out if I can see the stag, but I can't quite see him in his face just yet. So I might have to risk it for the biscuit, pop up there, get a bit more elevation, and try and look across. It is 700 yards up into here, so I'm hoping that that won't see me. I can just about smell them. There's a good chance they might have come down and hopped down into the river. The breeze is sort of coming this way, but swirling a little bit, so. We just cross our fingers here up there and look across, hopefully spot him. Go from there. That stag's actually wrong away. Um, he's a younger 10 pointer by the look of it. Missing his bait irons. But yeah, he's a cool, cool young wee stag. But not the one we're after. So we're probably going to go down here somewhere, set up camp. And then we're gonna walk up this ridge here in the evening and then glass into this next catchment. While we're doing that, we've also got to look up into this catchment here. And then we're gonna climb spot up the top of that hill. Um, he's gonna be just over the hill here too. <laughs> yeah, good to see though, there's plenty of animals about. We might just shoot like a yearling, get a bit of meat off it, and also help control the numbers in here a bit because if we don't shoot one or two, well then docks either going to 1080 it or they're going to come through and spray the whole lot of them so bit of food for thought right so we've got about two hours left of light just left the camp down the bottom heading up to that settle get a good vantage point we'll go to look over heaps of country um, we've seen a lot of stags so far I don't know 8 or 10 pretty awesome to see Hopefully we can see a couple more tonight anyway. Bugger, we just spooked a stag. He's super quiet, he wasn't roaring. He's just a young fella up in the bluffs way up there running across that screen. But you're definitely gonna get that. Right, so we've come up to this basin now, glassed all this country. Pretty epic. Didn't see any animals. We got a few rules. Um, glassed all of this as well obviously the back stuff pretty far so the old spotting scope might be struggling it's a lot drier across here than where we were camping last night over the other side of there so I'd say all of our animals are most probably going to be bunched up there oh well that sums up the evening hunt it was a quiet evening though to take the rifle for a walk but we're going to head back down to camp now while it's still light get off this mountainside while we can still see um, Get back to camp. Quick recap on the day, Alex. How did you how did you find today? Uh, good day, yeah. Is that the most uh, stags you've seen on Dockland in one day? 17 stags? Yeah, it would be. Yeah. No, nah, I don't even know. That <laughs> yeah, I was gonna I say. just made that up. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> no, it was definitely more than five anyway, I reckon. Mm. Mm. How was your swim anyway? Feeling fresh? Yeah. The fresh glacial day. swim. Keeps you fresh just down in the river over there. Yeah, no, it does. Cool every day. 20 k's left back to your truck and then we've got a bloody two hour drive back to my truck. Does that make you feel a little bit nervous? 20 k walk yeah. in the next two days or not too bad? No, yeah, no. Nah. How's the body feeling? No, not too bad actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice, that's a go. Nothing different from a day of sharing, eh? Yeah, not much different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody good, bro. Couple of big days in front of us. 
see if we can find some animals over here somewhere because that's exactly where we're going that right there my friends is the ultimate in back country food bull tar salami bit of cheese and a rice risotto what more could you need oh well it's end of day two time to hit the scratcher again it's a pretty awesome epic day and we've got some big k's in front of us see if we can find some more animals Right, let's get in there. Morning of day three. What's today gonna be? Oh, Alex has got a coffee on for us. Cup of tea. I don't actually drink coffee, so I'll just get the tea. Got the redhead torches on because we are in prime deer country here. Won't be too long and that sun will be up and we'll be into it. Spike camping. We've actually already packed up completely. Sun comes up in about half an hour. Right, she's another cracker of a day today. As you can see, we've just packed the campsite up. We're going to hit the road. Heading down here, 20 k's to the truck, Alex's truck, so we're going to slowly hunt our way through here. Next few k's, probably going to take us all morning. We're just going to follow this creek out, but we're probably going to pop up with the spotting scope and glass across to the other faces. Just make sure we don't miss anything on our way. Um, pretty good chance that there's going to be animals up here. We saw heaps of sign yesterday, and there was a stag and two hinds just there as well, so it's looking pretty good. So don't go anywhere just yet. We've still got, yeah, two more days of good hunting in front of us. All right, well, let's go. Check out what I just found in the river. Dead, big old alpine skink. I've seen them running around before, but I've never seen them that big before. I actually don't know if that's exactly what it is, but a bit sad to see. Put them back up over here, right? Okay. Someone watching the video might know what they are. At a guess, I'd say cockabillas, but I'm no expert. On the hut door here we've got a list of all the names from the old autumn musters back in the day pretty cool going right back to 1967 here and we've got a few chaps here that were here for the 2024 raw we actually come into the spot last year for the raw as well we've got a donkey of a stag right up on that cliff face up there Roared a minute, last light, heaps of fog coming through. That was a pretty epic mission, but I'll pop a photo up of that one there that we got last year. That was pretty mean. Not often you see them that big in Dockland, but yeah, then we had to walk down in the dark all the way down that ridge line down there back down to camp. Yeah, oh well, we'll carry on up here and set up camp or spend the night at a hut anyway and see if we can find some more animals. Oh well, that pretty much rounds up the mission anyway, we're going to head out tonight, it's so barren in here, there's been a heap of stock in here, and then to March according to the hut book, so that was only a couple of weeks ago, and it's real chewed out, so we're going to head back out to the truck, three hours away, and then drive around, and go pick up my truck, and that'll be us, anyway, cheers for watching guys. Go say it. Oh, like and subscribe if you want to see more. <laughs> <laughs> what if they don't want to? <laughs> oh, no. Sweet. Catch us later.